Hello and welcome back. My name is Vlad. In today's video, another part of my whiskey collection, and this time there's gonna be Wart whiskies. Hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna show you the another part of my whiskey collection, which is the Wart whiskies. And in this case, I'm gonna start from South Africa, and the whiskey from the James Sedwick Distillery, Free Ships Single Malt Whiskey, 12 years old, bottled at 46.3% uh, of ABV. Uh, whiskey, quite interesting, slightly smoky, Reminds me a Bomber whiskey a lot to be honest If I haven't reviewed this whiskey just uh, let me know in the comment down below that you want to see review on this one Because I think it's quite quite interesting and nice whiskey from that distillery and another whiskey from the same distillery uh, South Africa grain whiskey Baines Cope Mountain whiskey Quite interesting one to be honest. It's hundred percent made from the African corn, and also the maturation is quite interesting too. In this case, so if you would like to see review on this one, I can do this for you, of course. Uh, in this case, I've got a travel retail bottle, which is forty-three percent of ABV, and this is one liter bottle. I think the usual. Alcohol strength is a 40 only, in this case it's 43, but if you would like to see my review on this one, just let me know in the comments, please. And now we're going to India. Amrut Fusion. I think the most of you guys, you've heard about this one. Uh, single malt whiskey from Amrut Distillery. Uh, this is slightly pitted, and I, if, I'm, if I remember right, this whiskey was made from mixture of uh, unpitted... Indian malted barley and uh, pitted Indian malted barley, but to smoke the whiskey, the Scottish pit has been used in this case. So quite interesting. If I'm right, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't remember, but uh, I think it was something, something like that. So that's the first Indian whiskey, and another Indian whiskey in my collection is a uh, whiskey from Piccadilly Distillery. Indri single malt Indian whiskey. Quite interesting. I've heard a lot, a lot about this one. Forty six percent created from marriage of three types of casks: ex bourbon casks, ex French wine casks, and PX sherry casks. Imported by Gordon MacPhail. That might be interesting, to be honest. I've, I've seen review on this one made by Vin from non Nonsense Whiskey. So after that, I, I decided to, to purchase this bottle for myself, but I haven't opened it yet. Soon I will, definitely. And the last three bottles came from a Taiwanese distillery, from Taiwan, from Kavalan distillery, Oloroso Sherry Cask. Oloroso Sherry Oak Matured in this case. This is the standard one, 46% of ABV. Of course, non chin filtered and no color added. Not much left. I'm keeping this to do review on this one because as you see from the bottle level, I do like this one very, very much. And I've got two more Cavalans. Uh, Sol Cavalan Solist Single Cask Whiskey from Port Cask. Uh, 57.8% of ABV, of course, non chill filtered and no color added. Just have a look. Just look how beautiful this color is. Gorgeous color. And last Kavalan on my collection is a Kavalan, also solist, single cask, sherry cask, 55.6% of ABV. Also beautiful, dark, Taiwanese whiskey. So that's all from the world whiskey in my collection. I hope you like this video and I hope you enjoyed it. 
If so, just remember, leave thumbs ups and subscribe the channel. If you like it, that would be much appreciated. That's all for this video, guys. Just remember one thing, take care about yourself, take care about your families, drink your whiskeys, enjoy your life, and see you soon. Bye.